Hey, South Point family. I just wanted to take a minute and send you another encouraging word to hopefully make your day go a little bit better. Now, over the past few weeks, I've been sharing several words about making sure you're joyful, making sure you're still worshiping the Lord and, and keeping your joy and your worship up there where it needs to be. And I was thinking that maybe you are at a point where you think, listen, I'm not, I'm not a worshiper. I'm not a, man, you talk about worshiping and all that, and I just don't, I'm not there on a scale of one to 10. Okay, I love Jesus, I love the Lord, but on a scale of one to 10, my worship is maybe at like a three or a two. I'm just not really there. So is it working? Is it good enough? Okay, and so then, you see, you stepped into the whole, is it good enough thing? Let me read you a passage of scripture from Psalm 33. And uh, this is the Passion Translation. And listen to this. Um, Human strength and the weapons of a man are false hopes of victory. They may seem mighty, but they will always disappoint. Okay, I'm going to keep reading, but get that. He's saying, listen, how much you do, your effort, it, it just, you can't put your hope in that. Don't put your hope in your effort. And then verse 18, he says this. The eyes of the Lord are upon even the weakest worshipers who love him. Those who wait in hope and expectation for the strong, steady love of God. So even if you are, even if you are one of the weakest worshipers, God's eye is still on you and he is still loving what you are doing, what you are worshiping and worshiping him. He goes on to say this, and this, this just gives us something to worship him even more. He says, the Lord alone is our radiant hope and we trust him with all of our hearts. His wraparound presence will strengthen us as we rejoice with an uncontained joy flowing from Yahweh. Let your love and steadfast kindness shadow us continually, for we trust and wait upon you. It says there that his wraparound presence will strengthen us. That, the Hebrew word there for wraparound presence, another way to interpret that is to be entwined, it's also the word we interpret it into English as waiting upon the Lord. There's something that happens powerfully when we, when we wait upon the Lord. What's happening is His Spirit is literally entwining us, wrapping around us. And it goes to, and you guys know this, a three-chord strand is not easily broken, right? And so as we, we wrap, as we allow His Spirit and His will to wrap around us, that three chord strand is not easily broken. And so waiting on him, worshiping him, no matter how little we think we are, worshiping him and waiting on him will change your day. So let me just encourage you right here, take just a few minutes today and wait on him, worship him, and watch how that little bit of time can literally strengthen you and change your whole perspective of the day. Hope that encourages you. I love you guys very much.